everyone, happy Monday. It's late at night. I didn't vlog all day because I was working, but I thought I would weekly vlog. I was chatting to my friend last night and we were watching my You Me at Six vlogs. She suggested I should just weekly vlog and see where it takes me because I quite enjoy looking back and seeing what I got up to and stuff. So that's what the plan is anyway. So I had work today. I have just got in. It's about, well, I finished at seven. So it's just about half seven. And then I'm going to get my dinner in a minute. I've just let the rabbits out, so they're running about. Not much has happened. I had a gap between shifts where I got my car washed and went to a meeting at the office. But apart from that, all's good. Ryan's not back from his work. Well, he finishes at nine, so he won't be back till about 20 past nine. And that's all I've got for you. I'll show you what I make for my dinner. I need to clean the rabbits out and I need to change my bedding. Well... There's no bedding on it. I need to put bedding on it because I put it in the wash. Saying goodbye to the Christmas bedding and putting the usual one back on. <laughs> finish making the bed that is not a one-man job I absolutely hate making beds but I'm glad that I got it done and I'll be able to sleep in a nice clean fresh bed tonight so I'm just gonna get my dinner now Boiling my potatoes and I'm gonna try these, that's upside down, these vegetarian, even though they're vegan as well, Cumberland mushroom sausages. Like they look like they could be nice but it's putting me off that it says mushroom. But I like sage and onion so I'm hoping that they will be good. This is gonna be hard doing it one handed but I am mashing my potatoes. I'm going to put a little bit of Vitalite in and my sausages are frying currently. They smell good so fingers crossed. It reminds me of the taste of the cauldron so veggie sausages but I can't have them anymore because they've got egg and milk in them. So that's quite a nice alternative to the cauldron sausages. I like them. I would buy them again. Got some mint as well that the bunnies like. They've not had it for a little while, so I'll give a little bit to them. There we go. I've got some mint, Rosie. They are so cute. They've made such a mess of the floor, though. I'll need to hoover it up. If any of you were wondering, they've settled in really well. Rosie will occasionally let me touch her. And she still doesn't really like being touched. And then it didn't help because she got spayed um, just before Christmas. And I had to give her medicine. So she associated me with catching her and trying to give her medicine. But she's getting there slowly. She's such a cute little girl. And she sometimes lets me clap her head. The other night she let me clap it for ages and it was really nice. And then this little guy, Theo, he's grown so much. He's such, he used to be smaller than Rosie and he's actually bigger than her now. So he's doing really well. It's so cute seeing them snuggle up together and give each other kisses. What are you doing, Theo? What are you doing? He's a gorgeous boy. Good afternoon. I was going to say morning, but it is currently quarter to two in the afternoon. So 
bit of a late start to the vlog but today's just been a chilled Tuesday I've got the day off from work so I had a lie in and then I've just been slowly getting ready my friend Melissa got me this for Christmas it's glaring I don't know if you can see it there it's just a wedding planner she knew that I would want the Erin Condren one because I usually get her planners for like the yearly planners but she saw this and just thought she would get it for me and it's so nice on the insides I'll show you um so it's got you write a bit about us the bride the groom the proposal the wedding date and then there's different checklists and stuff it's a really nice book and I was just filling it out a little bit not very seriously or anything but I just did a rough guest list so it's got different a lot of pages for guest lists and if you've sent the invitation and if they've accepted and things like that so it's really good but um I was getting a bit stressed <laughs> just trying to do the rough draft of guest lists I didn't think I would know like I've got such a small family that I didn't think I would get stressed out by doing a guest list but it is quite hard to think of who to come to the daytime and who to come to the evening and things like that. I've wrote a to-do list, what I need to do today. I've got to tidy this room, it's getting a bit of a mess. Clean the rabbits out, edit the London part of the You Me At Six vlog, which has been going up. I'm going to try and do the rest of them daily, just to get them out of the way, because it's since November so I need to order a planner for this year because I had ordered an Erin Condren planner sorry I'm just going on our page the website while I remember I had ordered a planner from Erin Condren but the payment didn't go through because I entered the wrong last three digits on my card and I realised as soon as I'd done it but it had to go through and then get declined and then I have to basically redo the order um, which is fine because when I was telling Ryan that I had ordered an Erin Condren planner he had let slip that that was part of my Christmas he had bought me a voucher for Erin Condren to get a wedding planner this morning a package came in the post and it was from Erin Condren and it's the Christmas gift that Ryan got me which just came a bit late on the 15th of January and they had the cheek to charge import tax i think it's called is it custom a customs fee for a flipping voucher it's the same box that you would get if you order a planner it was something like 19 pounds custom i was like for god's sake and people always say it's a hit or a miss whether you get charged custom fees but i always get charged custom fees when i order from erin condren so i'll just show you what i got in the package so it came with a little postcard with a cheesy coat, a little sticker, the usual. And then I think it must have been that Ryan ordered these as well as a voucher. So a snap-in dashboard that I can use for my normal planner as well. So it's got a priorities list and then a habit tracker. And then he got sticky notes that are really cute. This part is the gift voucher. So. I'm going to order the two planners in one so it's not as much postage. I think that's actually worked out quite well. Once I've picked what design I'm having, I'll get back to you. And so I've decided on the wedding planner. I just picked a picture that Ryan and I took at the Trevi Fountain when he proposed. And then that's my normal planner there. It's just grey and white stars with my name on it. I got so many parcels in the post office just there. I was expecting three, but there was four. I'll open them all up properly when I get home and I will show you. Here's the bunnies coming. I just let them out so they've followed me up the stairs. And what's wrong with you? Are you sneezing? Oh dear. What are you sneezing for? Want to help open the parcels? 
So I am back from the post office. The woman at the post office was really nice and she said how my lush parcel smelled amazing but um, I'm not going to open that first. I'll open this which is a personalised shopping bag that I got for my mum. It was meant to be for Christmas but it didn't come in time so I'm just going to see what it looks like. I wasn't sure how the quality quality of the bag would be, but that's quite cute. So it's just on one side it's got Rosie and Theo, and on the other, another picture of them. I thought it was really nice, because I also got her a mug that had their pictures on it. I'm sure she'll be happy that I got that. And then this parcel is the calendar that I bought for my granny. I'll open it first and then I'll tell you the story behind it. Basically, I had made a calendar for my granny on the computer. I've laid it all out, it was all great. And then when I went to print it, the ink had run out and it wasn't great quality. I decided I'm just going to buy one and personalise it that way. So I'll show you a few of the pictures. Hopefully they've turned out good. I'll just go quickly through them all because they're so cute. So January is a picture of, that's my granny's dog Laddie and that's Ollie, my rabbit that I had before. Then this picture is a bit embarrassing. <laughs> this was when I was like, I don't even know, 14? No, 15? 15 or 16 maybe. But we went to the Museum of Flight so that's a picture of my granny and me and my mum. March is the picture of Laddie. I took that in my old bedroom with my studio lights and it's one of my favourite pictures I've ever taken. April, Laddie with the daffodils. I thought that was really sweet. May, it's a family photo on my 19th birthday. June, picture of my mum and my granny together. July is a picture of Rosie and Theo, the new additions to the family. August, picture of me and my granny at my 19th birthday. September, another picture of Laddie. October, I took my granny to Poland for part of her birthday. November, picture of my granny and Laddie. Last but not least, December, Laddie with a pair of antlers on. How cute is he? I got black dye to use for my black jeans because I've got two pairs that are just quite new and they've already faded and they look really old so I'm gonna do that and see if it helps. I got a voucher for Christmas. I decided I'd get some new bath bombs from I think it's for Valentine's Day they've got new stuff so I'm just gonna open that up. All these packing peanuts that I will dispose of so I can show you because they go everywhere. Okay, so I see the first thing. Catastrophe Cosmetic, it's a fresh face mask. So this one has blueberries in it. Antioxidant, it smells so good. I'm going to make a video, maybe, maybe tomorrow or Thursday about my pamper routine. So I wanted to get a new face mask for that. So this is what the first thing, or the second thing. It's just a space rocket. I will get my leaflet out to see what it is. Rocket Science Bath Bomb. It smells nice. I'm not even going to attempt to try and describe it because I'll be terrible. This one is a bubble bar and you can actually blow bubbles through that. I thought that was quite cool. I'm forever blowing bubbles. This must be so it's on a stick. It smells lemony and really fresh. My camera battery is dying so I'll quickly, quickly, quickly go through the rest. This is a hot oil um, hair mask thing. You stir it in hot water and then apply it to your hair. I got a French Kiss bubble bar. Peach. This is for Valentine's Day. The one thing I really wanted to show you before my camera dies is this Love Boat um, bath bomb. I think it's a bath bomb. Yes it is. It's so cute. It's just like that underneath. 
and it's got a little love heart on the front. How cute is that for a bath bomb? 375, which isn't bad for the size of it. I really like that. This aubergine bath bomb. I never know if they're bubble bars or bath bombs. So this is also for Valentine's Day. It smells really nice. It's kind of like a baby powder smell. What do you think, Theo? See what Theo thinks about smelling it. He'll probably run away. Look. I thought he would run away. He's not bothered. At least he's not trying to eat it. I've just made some lunch, so I used Warburton's, I think it is. Toasty Pockets, I've never tried them before, but they're really good. Sorry, I'm out of breath, I've been running up and down the stairs. So I'm just having that, and then I am on the last ever episode of Desperate Housewives. Previously on Desperate Housewives, Susan had a secret. I just finished watching Desperate Housewives, and I don't know what to do with myself. I hate the ending of any TV series. It was the same when I watched Gossip Girl. I didn't know what to do with myself. So I need to find a new series to watch. I was thinking about, is it called Just You on Netflix? I was thinking about starting that. Ryan and I are watching Doctor Who just now anyway, but that's kind of a, I have to wait till he's there to watch it. So I need to find something I can watch by myself as well. I'm gonna go to my mum's, bring the rabbits to visit her and give her the Christmas present. She also got a delivery of hay. I ordered a, I think it's nine kilos for £20 and it's meant to be the best Timothy hay that you can get. And I got it over to her house because she's in more often than I am. So I'm gonna pick it up. Wednesday today. I'm just getting ready heading off to work. I finish at seven o'clock tonight so <sighs> I'm sorry breath I just ran up the stairs. I'm just about to straighten my hair and then go. I will catch up with you maybe on my break between shifts. Um, I just got a parcel in the mail. It's from Cult Beauty. I've not put lipstick on by the way, that's why it looks weird. It's from Cult Beauty and I had ordered the Huda Beauty foundation that I was talking about in the You Made Six vlogs but literally the post lady just came to the door as I had already put my foundation on and then when I saw it I was like oh I could have tried it today but I'll need to try it tomorrow. I will catch up with you later on tonight. Well hello, it's now Thursday night I've just finished work and I went into Sainsbury's, as you can see. I'll do a haul once I get in, it's not very exciting or healthy, but I wanted Ben and Jerry's vegan ice cream, so I got carried away a little bit. But anyway, I meant to vlog more yesterday, but I was by the time I got in from work, I was shattered and I've had a lot on my mind, you know, at that point where you don't know what you're doing with your life that's where I am at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a lot of big decisions to make and I was getting myself all stressed out about it yesterday but it'll be fine, everything's fine. I'm just going to head home, I really need a pee and I think the traffic's going to be bad because it's rush hour, it's five o'clock just now. So hopefully I get home soon and I'll go and get to see the bunnies as well, that'll be good. That's me back home. I'm just cooking some dinner and I got changed into some pyjamas, well pyjama bottoms so it's a bit comfier but I'll quickly do the Sainsbury's haul before I get my dinner. I just stocked up on a few chicken flavour Sainsbury's super noodle version. So the reason I went to Sainsbury's was last week I tried the peanut butter and cookies Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Wow. Wow. So good. May or may not have eaten the entire tub in one and a bit sittings. 
also went and got some more vegan magnums because they are so good again i tried these for the first time last week and they taste just like the original magnums took a risk and i bought some vegan mac and cheese all the ones i've tried so far are disgusting <laughs> so it was 450 but i'm fingers crossed hoping that it tastes at least a little bit nice orange stuff i got bicarbonate of soda and plain flour for my cookies that i'm gonna bake this week so for my cookies i got chocolate chips and white chocolate buttons as well to break up and last thing is potatoes but i don't think that's very interesting but i'll need to take it out of the bag anyway potatoes so i can make some chips in the air fryer but anyway i'm just gonna chill out in front of the tv with my dinner and watch more of the netflix show you so good so far hello it's much later on it is after nine i think ryan just phoned me he's just finished his work and he's bringing home a McDonald's. My diet has been horrendous this week, but I'm gonna try and be a lot better next week, so I'm letting myself off because I'm so tired this week. I don't know what's been wrong with me. I'm not gonna go into it because nobody wants to hear about me being tired all day. I've got my Kindle on charge, actually. Kindle Fire, because I have been reading The Universe Has Your Back again i've started it again the rabbits have been so so cheeky today like every second i would turn my back they were getting up to something and chewing stuff and it's really annoying so i put them to bed a wee bit early gave them their veggies so they're quite happy and i'm just chilling out i feel i can't relax when they're out after like i've played with them and stuff if i just want to sit on the couch i feel like i'm always having to check that they're not getting up to something. Tomorrow's my long day at work. I'm doing seven till four. It's usually seven till half seven, but the last part is, it has been canceled. So I now finish at four, which is a lot better than half seven at night. But because today and tomorrow are my, are my longer days, I feel really bad for not being able to vlog much. So hopefully at the weekend, I'll be able to vlog a bit more. Saturday, I have got a three hour shift and that's about it. Well that is it and I'm off on Sunday. Happy Saturday everyone! So I'm sorry I didn't vlog yesterday but basically I was just working and then went to bed. That was all that happened yesterday so you didn't miss much. Today I've worked for three hours and then I've just came home. It's around lunchtime so I'm gonna get some lunch. I just gave the bunnies some of their lunch. I've got some herbs and spring greens to munch on. We've got washing on. We're just going to tidy around the house. Ryan's just having a shower just now. Hopefully going to be a productive Saturday. You can see my hands shaking. I need to go and eat. And then for dinner, my mum is taking us to the chain runner. <laughs> morning everybody it's sunday today i've just not long got up i've just washed my face so that's why it's all red but i'm gonna put some moisturizer on and also i can hear the rabbits have heard me get up and they're like rattling their cage to try and get out so <laughs> i'm gonna go put moisturizer on and get the rabbits out and then finish getting ready i really need to wash my hair tonight so i was gonna film my pamper routine um while I've got my new Lush products that I've not tried yet. So the plan today is, Ryan's just, where is he? Playing squash. 
at the gym. I don't think we've got any plans during the day. I just want to get stuff done around the house. And then tonight it's quite exciting because... So Ryan works at a prison. He's a prison officer. So they are doing like a family day or something. Me and Ryan's mum are going to visit the prison and see what it's like inside. So I think it'll be quite interesting. I'll obviously not be able to take my camera in with me. I've seen the outside before, it's quite a big building. Oh my goodness, I need to wake up. Let's go and get the bunnies. So let's see what you have been up to. What's happened to your litter tree? Hmm? You taking it out the corner? What's happened? Do you want out? Do you want out, bunnies? Come on then. I'll need to clean your cages today. Look at the mess you've made. Rosie. I've just came in the room and there are two bunnies on my bed. This one didn't even know how to get on a bed. So the other one must have taught her, as long as they don't pee on it. Ryan's just got home from the gym. I'm going to see if I can surprise him at the window. I am ready. He's sitting in the car, taking ages. Hurry up. No, please. Do you think he's comfy up there? How cute. Now the two of them are lying down together. <laughs> as long as they don't pee on the bed, I don't mind. These are so cute. You're so cute. I'm just about to wax my eyebrows and I thought I would show you how I do it. It's not vegan wax. I've had this a long, long time, um, but it still works. I am on the lookout for a vegan version. I need to research some vegan wax um, options, but until then, it's more wasteful to throw this away than use it up when I've already got it. So it's by Gigi. Um, Brazilian bikini wax. I just use it for my eyebrows because it's um, hard wax so it works really well. And then I'll let it dry and do the other side. And then I'll try and get this bit to be thicker so I can pull it. Okay, it's dried now. It only takes less than a minute, I would say, but the hardest part is getting a grip. My eyes always water as well. Next. That was a sore one. My eyes are gonna water. I've just made some noodles. Not very healthy, but this week's just not been healthy. Just let's face it. Um, so I'm doing that while watching the That Vegan Couple's response video on Bonnie Rebecca no longer being vegan. Theo! Hello. Look at his wee face. Look at your little face. You're so cute. See ya. Are you ditching me now? Bye. But while I was trying to tidy up, I found this book that my mum got me for Christmas. It's Sweary edition of Vegan Problems. And then I've got this colouring set of pencils so I just I got distracted and I started colouring in <laughs> I don't like saying this word but 
I really think it's quite funny. The hardest part of being vegan? Dealing with the That's what I've been up to for the past hour, so I need to go back to actually tidying.